Hi folks, today we're going to talk about uh, my portable handheld vacuum that I bought way back in August, four months now, the Keepty Peak. Large picture coming up on the screen for you in all its glory. So uh, make sure you check out the link in the description below if you think you might be interested in this. I, you know, full disclosure, I do get some affiliate dollars from that eventually not dollars probably cents on this one uh but it all that helps and make sure you like and subscribe i'm just gonna say that right up front for once now let's do the intro and then we'll talk Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com, as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly if you have a free version. Uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer and I'm only paying $4 and 50 cents a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech and now let's get back to that video we were doing all right folks in the following couple of segments we're going to go over uh how i use this thing every day and uh we're going to talk about the uh um how to clean it and then i'll remind you to you know like share subscribe yeah all those things uh, or give us thumbs down we don't care but in either case four months out of this thing and it's still working like a champ and i've learned some things along the way and you'll see that in the last segment so let's get right to those let's keep this as short as possible so i can i don't know watch a bowl game or something on amazon prime we'll see or another episode of Magnum P.I. Take it easy. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Oh, crap. I spilled cigarette ashes upon my keyboard. What do I, what to do? What to do? Oh, oh, they could get down inside those keys and clog everything up. Uh-oh. We reach under my desk here. Pull this out to keep T-Peak and... We let her come up to 100% military grade power, and off we go. And problem solved, folks. Problem solved. <coughs> it's that easy, and it still works great. Four months down the road. So next, I'm going to show you how to take it apart and clean it and give you some advice and stuff I've discovered over the months of owning it. Let's get to that right now after a little transition. So I'll admit it. Now, I've cleaned this recently, but this thing is super easy to clean. You're going to first untwist your nozzle and like I said it comes with a variety of nozzles and you can see a bunch of crap up in there you would rinse that out and I'll probably rinse that out shortly uh, I, like I said I just cleaned it but I did purposely spill that cigarette ash so everyone could see it but you'll put your hand under here so you don't you do this over a sink folks and it just turns and it unclicks like so and there's all your ashes and stuff and all the ashes that are stuck in it. You will pull that sponge filter out right here and you will rinse it off from the other side. 
and get all that stuff, you know, down the drain, dump those ashes out and rinse off the dustbin. And then you will use it as a sponge to wipe off all this crud around the edges. Holy crap, I got a lot. I'm going to have to clean it again, I guess. Wow, that was fast. Uh, but in the meantime, we're not going to do that right this second. I'm going to walk it back down, turn it up. It's that easy. And then you would, after cleaning your nozzle, of course, just slip it back in. And it does come with two nozzles. And they just slide in. Now, stuff I've learned after having this for a while. Okay, this uses a micro USB charging port. And I normally charge it off my one amp charger. It takes about an hour and a half to charge up. But it literally, if you watch my earlier videos, uh, and you could find those just by doing a search for Keep Key Peak on here. You'll see that I said, you know, three, four days. I've gone like a week. I've had so much crap in there. It was ridiculous. But it was still cleaning and doing its job. This thing is rock solid. After four months of use, I can highly recommend it. It's $18.49. Check the link in the description below. And then remember to like our channel, subscribe to it, and by the way, what you do with that filter, you get two of them, so you put the new filter in, after you've wiped it down and, you know, let it dry off a little while, and uh, you're good to go. You And once that filter gets fairly dry, you know, reasonably dry, what I do with mine, you know, the one I just cleaned, is I set it on top of my Zotac, which has some heat coming out the top, not a lot, but it gets it dry within like two hours. And then I just set it off to the side and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's all I have for tonight. So do the like, the share, and the subscribe if you found this useful, informative, or... I don't know. Or give us a, a thumbs down. That's okay, too. Interaction is good. Using the Impel Selfie Stick. Stopping this right now. We're going to the outro. We'll show you the last review we did, which was on the Sabrent Drive. And this thing sits right next to it on the same shelf. Thanks for watching. I might even do one on Christmas. What the hell? Boredom is a bad thing. Catch you later.